Chess grandmasters are the smartest and best players in the world. No wonder it takes so much time to become one. Now I'm not going to bore you with the details, but in short, a player must have a minimum rating of 2500 ELO and achieve grandmaster norms. But however, they are not immune to making illegal and silly moves under pressure. In this video, we will be talking about 9 times this actually happened, starting off with the best player in the world and arguably in history, Magnus Carlsen. Yes, even the best chess player sometimes makes mistakes and plays illegally. Of course, it's much less often than you and I for example, but it still happens. One of those times was in 2009 in a world's blitz championship match against fellow grandmaster Alexandra Kostanyok. The game was fairly close between the two players, but of course, Magnus always has a slight advantage. He's the best in the world. Until Magnus played an illegal move that resulted in him resigning the game. Alexandra played the move rook to b2, threatening to win Magnus' queen on f2. The clock was running out and Magnus had to act fast in order to keep himself in the game. But this fast movement and thinking led to him immediately moving his rook from e3 to e2 to block the attack. Magnus here quickly realized that this was a bad move since it opened up his queen to be captured by Alexandra's queen. And after an exchange in a material, it would result in a loss of a rook for Magnus. He realized his mistake in a split second and then changed his mind and moved his e1 rook to e2 instead. Of course, this is illegal. Since you're not allowed to touch a piece and move it, then change your mind mid-game and move another piece. Alexandra quickly stopped the clock and pointed out the illegal move. Magnus here realized his mistake and instead of calling an arbiter and trying to solve the issue, he decided to resign the game and give Alexandra the automatic win. I feel so much better now knowing that even Magnus isn't immune to playing illegal moves. And trust me, we have a few Magnus mistakes on the list. But the next one is by Hikaru Nakamura, another grandmaster that is considered one of the best in the world. In the round 6 of the 2016 Moscow Candidates Tournament, Hikaru was playing against Grandmaster Levan Oronian. The game was reaching an intense stage, with Oronian being up by a pawn and almost 6 minutes up on time, having 9 minutes left compared to Hikaru's 2 minutes and 50 seconds. We all know how Hikaru's mind can calculate 200 moves a second and he made in 120 moves, but in this situation, he was a bit too quick with his thinking and proceeded to touch the king in order to move it. He immediately realized that moving his king would result in a bad move and put him in a bad position, so he changed his mind and quickly removed his hand from the king piece. This led to a confusion between the two players, because based on the touch move rule, it is illegal to touch a piece if you do not intend on moving it. If you are just adjusting the position of your piece, you have to say Jadoub, or I adjust. But of course, you can't just say Jadoub after you play illegally. You have to say it first, and then adjust. Aronian here noticed the illegal move and was quick to complain and call in the arbiter while furiously leaving the board. Hikaru claimed to have said Jadoub, but this was just a lame attempt at fixing his mistake. After some debating between the two players and the arbiter, the final ruling forced Hikaru into moving his king piece since he touched it. Of course, this put Hikaru in a very bad position and eventually led to him losing the game. This was not the first nor the last time Hikaru played an illegal move. Just like Magnus, we have a couple of scenarios with him on the list. But up next, we have an illegal move played by Grandmaster Gonino versus Grandmaster Zhu Wenjun. The game was going on normally between the two Grandmasters, until Gonina decided to move her king to an illegal square that the knight was guarding. Of course, this puts her king in a check position and can be captured by the knight, which is an impossible position in chess. Wenjun immediately stops the clock and points out the illegal move played, and proceeded to call the arbiter to complain. According to all the rules, this illegal move results in a direct win for the opponent, but the rule was later changed to only result in a warning and adding time to the other player. Of course, early on in the game, this would not affect the game at all, so it probably was a tactic done by Gonina in order to give herself more time to think about her next move without wasting her clock. Calling in the arbiter and waiting for him to adjust the clock takes time, which is what Gonina probably needed in order to think about her next move, so she played an illegal move on purpose just for that reason. Of course, here I'm just speculating, and it is unsure whether this was an actual plan or Gonina just didn't realize it and made a mistake. Next on the list, we go back to a Magnus Carlsen situation. In chess, there is a rule that states that if your opponent played an illegal move and you somehow didn't notice and played your move normally, your move becomes an illegal move and your opponent could call the arbiter and claim a win. This actually happened with the world champion Magnus Carlsen in a game in the FIDE World's Best Championship in 2017, where his opponent Ernesto in Arkiev made an illegal move. And Magnus was unable to spot it and continued normally to play his move. Inarkiev stopped the clock and claimed victory on the basis that Carlsen made an illegal move. The initial arbiter at first awarded Inarkiev the 
win. But Colson alerted the chief arbiter, who overruled the first arbiter and gave Inarchiev the option of resuming the game from the position arising after Colson's move, but Inarchiev refused to play and Colson was awarded the win. Inarchiev appealed the chief arbiter's decision, but his claim was rejected by the appeal board and Colson's win stood. You could call that special treatment for the world champion, or just a fair decision considering both players played an illegal move and the rule is just unfair. But this next situation is an obvious illegal move. It was a game between Hikaru Nakamura and Gutrati in the Tata Steel India Bliss Championship in 2019. The game was an intense one, with Gutrati having just 4 seconds on the clock and Hikaru having 12 seconds. After quickly exchanging pieces, both players were left with one pawn and a king, with Hikaru having clear advantage by having his pawn one square away from queening, which of course immediately puts Hikaru in a winning position. It was Gutrati's turn to move, and being low on time and under pressure, he proceeds to move his king right next to Hikaru's king, which is of course impossible, since it would mean Hikaru's king is free to capture Gutrati's king and win. This was a clear illegal move that Gutrati immediately realized and stopped the clock. They both called in the arbiter to check on the moves, and then the arbiter proceeded to give Gutrati a warning and add one minute to Hikaru's clock. Of course, this means Hikaru now has a clear winning advantage against Gutrati. Another game that involved Hikaru Nakamura was versus Fabiano Caruana. Fabiano had a pass pawn and proceeded to move it by one square, allowing it to promote to a queen. Of course, as per FIDE rules, you have to move the pawn, remove it from the board, and replace it with a new queen before pressing the clock. But Caruana didn't do that, however. He moved his pawn, and while he was reaching for his new queen, he accidentally pressed the clock and then placed the new queen on the board. Of course, this is an illegal move that Hikaru quickly catched and pointed out. The rule states that this results in an instant loss. The arbiters then came to the board, stopped the clock, and reviewed the position. This sparked confusion between the players and even the commentators. Hikaru should have been given the automatic win as per FIDE rules. But the arbiter, however, didn't do that, and eventually gave Fabiano a warning and added time to Hikaru's clock. It is still unclear why Hikaru wasn't given the win. Maybe it was a mutual agreement and fair play from Hikaru's side. In this next game, an illegal move was played, but neither players caught it and proceeded to play normally, or they just let it slide without saying anything. This was a game between Magnus Carlsen and Grandmaster Svidler in the 2009 Bliss Championship. Svidler captured Magnus' queen on the 8th rank, which gives him the opportunity to promote it to a new queen himself. However, this didn't happen, and Svidler just pressed the clock leaving his pawn on the board, which was captured by Magnus' rook. This is an illegal move, because you cannot promote your pawn to another pawn. Even though this wasn't gonna change the game at all, and Svidler's newly promoted queen would have been captured by Magnus regardless, but still, it would have removed a couple of seconds from Svidler's clock. Neither players complained, however, and they just continued the game normally. A year later, however, Magnus himself played an illegal move that he wished his opponent let it slide, but this was not the case. It was a game versus Boris Savchenko in the World Blitz Championship in 2010. In the Blitz game, the time is low and the pressure is high, so players must think and move quickly. In the heat of the moment and while the game was closing in to the end game, Magnus touched and moves his king to a square that would have been a bad move for him. He quickly, however, changes his mind and moves it to a new square, which is illegal. If you move your piece to a square, you're not allowed to change your mind and you're forced to keep your piece there. Savchenko quickly pointed it out, which resulted in a hilarious reaction by Magnus. Magnus here is shown as if he's telling Savchenko to just shut up and disregard the move, just like a kid that's trying to stop his friend from snitching on him to the school teacher. But this is not school. This is a world championship chess tournament with money at stake, so Savchenko couldn't let it slide. Magnus then just accepted his mistake and shook his opponent's hand, which meant he just resigned the game. This could have been easily avoided by Savchenko, and they could have just continued the game. But grandmasters are ruthless, and when you're facing the best in the world, you want every chance for a win or an advantage. And finally, we have Garry Kasparov versus Veselin Topalov. Just like the previous scenario we saw on the list, Topalov was on his way to promoting his pawn to a queen. However, when he moved his pawn to the promotion square, he hit the clock before removing his pawn from the board and adding his newly promoted queen. Kasparov quickly stopped the clock and stood up from the board to complain to the arbiter. Of course, this illegal move no longer gives him the automatic win. So Topalov was given a warning and the game continued. It is clear that even world champions and grandmasters make illegal moves sometimes. Everyone makes mistakes, so don't feel bad about yours. Make sure you subscribe and watch this next video that YouTube thinks you will enjoy that's on your screen right now.